Welcome back. I am here on the Intercoastal on a beautiful yacht where I'm going to learn how to maneuver it by a remote control. I'm here with Mark Curary. How are you? Mate. Good to see you Good again. To see you how again, are you, Mark? right? Yes. <laughs> Right, shaking. You never know what to do. Yes. Well, thank you for having us today. No problem. Beautiful day here it in Delray. So, tell us what is uh, DockMate. So, DockMate is a handheld um, remote for boat owners. Okay, it'll wirelessly control the boat's engines, thrusters, anchor, and horn from a wireless device. Okay, it avoids the um, difficult docking situations and gives the owners a better boating experience. Wow, so that little thing controls this whole, whole boat. It controls the whole boat. Wow. The engines, the thrusters, all of it. My TV remote is bigger than that. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. So who would buy a DockMate system? So, um, I mean, pretty much anybody. Anybody that has a boat can buy a DockMate, right? So there's different types of DockMates, but um, there's this boat is being uh, handled by a captain and he's using a DockMate. Okay, you got uh, boat owners, uh, husband and wife team that maneuver by themselves, they travel, they do the great loop or whatever the case may be. Um, that's an ideal situation for a dock made system. You know, one person inside maneuvering the boat, the other person's out doing lines. Now with a dock mate, one, both of them can be outside or one person can single hand the boat. It may not be that they want to go on the boat by themselves, but they want to single hand the boat, do it by themselves. Okay. Right? So short answer, anyone with a boat can have a Pretty much mate? anyone with a boat, right? Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Will a dockmate system work on any boat or does it need to have some kind of special equipment on board? So um, I don't really want to limit myself, but anything with electronic controls. Okay. okay? So anything pretty much past uh, 2000, the year 2000 has electronic controls and then we're going to connect into those controls uh, and maneuver the boat. Now I'm sure DockMate isn't the only wireless remote control system. What makes DockMate different than your competitors? So um, yeah, I mean, we're not the only ones out there, but uh, we are different. And we like to say like, there's like big three differences. You okay. know what I mean? So one is our communication. Uh, two is our proportional throttle control and three is our specialized proprietary dock control software. So I'll get a little more granular on that, right? Okay. So um, our, our communication is a two-way communication between our remote and our receiver so that the remote always knows that it's in communication, okay? So um, if they were to lose signal for some reason, we have a light here that lights up and lets you know that you've lost signal, okay? The remote also beeps, right? The remote beeps and then the remote also vibrates. So when you're outside and you're maneuvering the boat and you got the engines and the exhaust, you would actually know that something happened. Someone accidentally shuts the breaker off or something like that. So that's a really big uh, thing. And we use frequency hopping spread spectrum technology, which is like, I see you going, whoa. What yes, is that? That's like a big <laughs> word, right? Yeah. So it's, a, it's, it's technology that's been out for several years. And uh, it means that we use um, six different channels simultaneously and the uh, channel changes six times a second. Oh, wow. So what that translates for you is like a very robust, secure frequency. Okay. Okay. So um, so there's really no sign of dropouts. You're not going to have any issues with that. And the range is like really far. I mean, we start at like 165 feet in it. We've gone all the way up to parking lots and it's been no problem whatsoever. Wow. Right. So the next is our proportional throttle control, which means that, you know, when you maneuver the joystick, a little bit here is just in, in gear. And mm -hmm. as you move the joystick more and more, you get more throttle or variable, like smooth throttle control. Okay? okay. So a lot of times when you're docking a boat or coming into a marina, you need a little more than idle speed, mm -hmm. right? And it could be just a, you know, 50 RPMs or it could be a couple hundred RPMs depending on the types of boat. So we can do that and we can adjust that. Um, and the third is our dock control software. So what I said about the throttle, how much throttle? So let's just say a boat like this, um, you know, 57 foot Sunseeker might need 5% throttle, but uh, a trawler that has much smaller engines might need like 30%, you know, throttle. So it really depends on the boat. It's, it's, this is not a one size fits all product. It's you customize it to make it what you want or what the, what the owners want, which is a really big deal, right? So that's our software. We developed it, it and it's only uh, for DocMate. So that is, those are like our big three. There's several other differences, 
but um, those are like the three that really separate us from the competition. What types of boats are most likely to enjoy the greatest benefit of a dockmate system? Well, again, like I hate to limit myself, but like anything from 28 feet is the smallest we've done up to 130 feet. So anywhere in between. I mean, it really just depends on, you know, the owners. Uh, so, you know, if the 30, let's just say the 28 footer, that guy mm -hmm. likes to go out and fish by himself. So he uses the dock mate while he's fishing, right? And we have sport fish guys that do the same thing. The larger motor yacht type guys, they're maneuvering the boat with their husband and wife and, you know, they just need the help. So it's, I mean, the range is not an issue for us. So. I mean, you go much bigger than 130 feet, you probably have a full-time crew, but um, some captains like to have a dock mate, just like this guy, just so that he can leave the helm and maybe there's no wing station on those boats, right? So instead of installing a wing station, you know, out on the side of the boat, we can install a dock mate system and now the captain has full control over the boat, so. I think I know the answer to this one, but do you think that having a dock mate on a boat improves its resale value? I mean, of course, right? <laughs> I mean, of course. Um, so the real answer is, uh, well, yes. I mean, it's uh, just like if uh, you have two of the same boat and one of them has updated uh, electronics and maybe AV package, you, you know, that boat that's updated is gonna sell before uh, the boat that doesn't. So same thing, if a boat has a dock mate system on there, um, then, and a boat doesn't have it, the owners will most likely go to the boat that has a dock mate or a wireless remote control system on there before the one that doesn't have one, right? So uh, yeah, it definitely adds value and it'll make the boat sell first. So, uh, or before the other one, I would, I would bet, right? <laughs> All right. What unique features make dock mate the best in terms of safety and technology? So um, th there's a lot, but this is one of our big three that we talked about just a little bit ago. So um, the, Frequency hopping spread spectrum technology, that two-way communication between us, uh, it really ensures that, um, that there's not going to be any interference. This is the same technology that cell phones use, Bluetooth uses, Wi-Fi uses. I mean, like, it's a, it's a technology that's out there and everybody's using it. It just, it just happens in the background, right? So that there's not any interference between other, you know, dockmate systems, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's other systems out there that use specifically, like, two channels. And you know, those all of those remotes are on those specific channels. So you might go, hmm, that might be a little scary if every single wireless remote control is on those two specific channels. There's a, every dockmate has u six unique channels. Okay, so there's never ever any dockmate system that's going to be on those same six unique channels. So that's a huge safety feature. And another thing we do, which is kind of like a little trick, is. Um, when we're done installing the dock mate system, we ask the dealers to actually grab the remote and just walk as far as they can down the dock, right? Just, you know, just keep walking until the thing cuts out. And in a lot of cases, like it will never cut out. It's just the distance, you know, the, the range is so long. So we do that because a lot of people are just skeptical on, you know, the RF communication. Oh my God, is my boat gonna like fail? Is this gonna drop out on me? So we do that so that people understand that like the range is so far and if you're on a 60 foot boat and you're 30 feet in one direction and 30 feet in another direction from where the remote from the where the receiver is is mounted you're so far inside that you know range that like it's never an issue so you know the range thing is something that's very robust for for dockmate and uh, it's definitely one of our safety best safety features for sure great so you mentioned a great range of motion with the dockmate yeah. does this mean i can control it like from my apartment <laughs> um you know it's we don't want you to do that. Uh, okay. The range is possible, <laughs> but um, you know, so people will ask us like, uh, so the boat needs to move a slip over. The marina's told them they have to move from one slip to another. So can I just untie my lines, maneuver the boat, and then back in? Um, you know, technically you could do that, although we frown against it. We really want you to be on the boat. Now, uh, just a, a common usage is that you know we'll they'll maneuver the boat and then they'll hop off the dock, off the boat, onto the dock to tie a line up the bow will start to fall off the dock a little bit because the wind is blowing it off and they'll just hit the bow thruster to move the boat back over to the dock. That's a common use for, for the dock mate. Um, mm -hmm. but, um, but no, you don't want to be standing on the dock and maneuvering your boat. This is not like a remote control boat. You know what I mean? That's gotcha. the, uh, we, we, uh, <laughs> we don't recommend that at all, really. So. 
All right. So tell me a little bit about the installation of the DockMate system. Is it intrusive? Can it cause any issues with the existing engine and thruster controls? The installation is very, very simple. Let me, let me show you what we got underneath. Okay. So this is the DockMate receiver that's installed on this boat. It's completely IP67, which means that it is uh, completely waterproof and submersible. Wow. Okay, it's mounted underneath the dash though. So if that's getting wet, you have some other problems, but it, <laughs> but it is completely waterproof. And this is the only antenna we need for our signal to go as far as it goes. So depending on the types of engines and stuff we have, they're all pre-made cables. Okay, so there's no cutting or splicing or any of that involved, okay? And if it's a Volvo boat, we buy specific Volvo cables to connect right into the system to preserve the Volvo Penta warranty and things like that, right? So it's very, very simple to install. It plugs into 12 or 24 volt power, okay? And it's, uh, it, the whole installation takes place in less than a day. Wow. Now, we do recommend if they install a twist or a twist for pods or things like that, then we go out and do a sea trial because we can customize, you know, like how much throttle like we were talking about earlier, right? So, but everything is done usually in like a six hour time frame. Wow, that's incredible. And it's just the size of a wireless router. That's, I mean, yeah, <laughs> Pretty I, yeah, much. I, I, guess, I guess, yes, this is it. So inside here, if I were to open it, is a lot of circuit boards and stuff. So it's built to suit. There's, uh, you know, if you have Volvo engines like this one or S-Link proportional thrusters like this boat, you know, and other boats may have uh, ZF controls or Glendening controls and different types of thrusters. So we just have to put those boards in here. We assemble everything here in the U.S. So um this is the box yeah i mean it's very simple it's mounted up and in, up inside there and then all the cables are, are pre-made from the factory very yeah. easy installation plug and play like we like to say <laughs> <laughs> awesome right so let's say the owner of this boat sells it buys a new boat are they able to bring the dock mate with them and reinstall it on their new boat well yes actually so the uh this particular boat is a very common setup this says volvo engines with a, like a side power proportional thruster. You'll see this on several different types of sun seekers, maybe some princess yachts, things like that. So if this owner wanted to take it to his next boat and he bought it with the same controls, then absolutely. Um, and as our you know developments are happening, we you can use the same equipment for several different types of boat. And that's some new, the technology that's coming out with DockMate. So um, the answer is yes. I mean, it's an investment for you know now I mean you have to pay for it but you can actually take it with you so um, we have had owners that are doing that I mean we have now just in the short three years that we've been in the US uh, 10 years worldwide but we've had customers that have already moved their dock made to another boat sometimes even twice now wow so, good yeah. to know yeah you just remove it and then reinstall it and it's pretty much pretty simple good to know yeah uh, so is this the only type of remote that you have or are there others no, so we actually have four different types of remotes. So I have them right here. So okay. um, this is our remote, our single remote, which is just for like single engine boats, okay? okay. You're just gonna get idle speed, forward and reverse, bow thruster, stern thruster if they have it, anchor, and then your horn. So this is the twin engine version of that. That's called our twin for tw two engines, idle speed, in and out of gear, bow thruster, stern thruster if the boat has it, again, uh, anchor, and then the horn. This is our twist remote. Okay, this is our three axis, uh, fully proportional uh, twist joystick. This is our best seller right here. So, you know, we talked about the proportional throttle control. You can do all that with here. You twist the boat, forward, back, left and right controls, one engine or two engines, bow thruster, stern thruster, uh, anchor, uh, and the horn you push down on it. Okay. And then if the boat is a uh, like a pod boat or has articulating engines, okay, like uh, Volvo Penta IPS or Mercury uh, joystick for Zeus pods or something, they'll use this joystick here and this will articulate the pods and maneuver the boat, do throttle, proportional throttle control, all that. Uh, if the boat has a bow thruster, you can control that with this. Uh, we also, uh, with the Volvo Penta, you can activate the high RPM. And if the boats have a sky hook or a dynamic positioning, you can activate it with this button right here. You can also do the anchor and then you push down uh, for the horn as well. So four different types kind of to, to, you know, fit everyone's budget, you know, and they range in different pricing depending on the options that they want. So, but we have a remote pretty much for anything anybody wants to do. Do you offer any type of satisfaction guarantee or product warranty? 
Yeah, so DocMate has like an unbelievable uh, warranty program. So we offer a three-year parts and labor warranty. So we have dealers all over the country. And so it doesn't matter where they have their DocMate installed, if they have it installed here and they go to Massachusetts, we have dealers up there. So three years parts and labor warranty. So we pay the dealer, if God forbid there's ever an issue. So that's really unbelievable. I mean, that's more than like Garmin, right? Um, and the other thing we do, just because we're, we believe in our product so much, is we offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So if they were installing the product and they're like, well, I really don't know how I'm gonna use it. And if it's, I, I can't really justify the value. Use it, you know what I mean? They, they pay it and if you don't, if you're not 100% satisfied with our product, we will remove the dock man and give you back all your money. So there's really, I don't know anything else like in the industry that would do that, right? Absolutely. So, I mean, um, but we can never have anybody that take advantage of that just because, I mean, it, I think that it, once they have it, it's like, you need it. You know what I mean? It's like a bow thruster on a boat, right? So you can dock a boat without a bow thruster, but having a bow thruster makes it a whole lot easier. Same thing with an autopilot, right? So. You can navigate on your boat, go across the Gulf Stream with, uh, with, you know, by hand steering the boat. But if you have an autopilot, it makes it so much easier. So we look at DocMate as those things, you know, as one of those types of uh, add-ons to the boat. So once the owner has that and has that luxury, then they, they need don't want to go back. They don't want to go back. <laughs> like roll down windows. You remember? Yeah. Well, you may not remember that, but I mean now everything's powered. But uh, yeah, same type of a thing, right? So yeah. good to know. Good to know you you offer that, but no one's taking advantage of it, which no. just goes to show how great your product is. Yes, yeah, <laughs> we're fortunate. Yes, thank you. Okay, so how easy is it to actually use a DocMate system? You think I could handle it? It's so easy. You can do it. Okay, let's right, try. I've so never do done this before. So, so here you go. I'm passing. Pass the torch. Passing the torch. All right. There you go. All let's right. So go. just hold in your hand and let's walk up. Okay. All here right. we go. <laughs> All right. There you go. Okay. Here's the test. Let's see. Okay. So <laughs> you have. I have don't control. be nervous. Okay. You have you have full control. You have okay. the con. Okay. okay. So. All right, so if you bump it forward, that's going to be both engines in forward. Okay, bump it, let it go. All right, and then you can bump it in reverse, and that'll be both engines in reverse. And then let it go. There you go. Oh, okay. All right, okay, so easy you enough. can move the joystick sideways, and then it'll move the whole boat sideways. You see okay. that? Okay. And then you can go the other way. That's uh, both bow and stern thruster moving the boat sideways. Okay. Okay, and now if you do it like at a 45, that's going to be just one engine. So do that. There you go. So that's uh -huh. just one engine. See that? Look, you're a pro already. All right, I think we need to go back okay. this way. They, they, look at this. She's All already right. a pro. All right. <laughs> All right, so now All right, we're going I'm going to throw some advanced level Gotta stuff slow at down you. A little bit. Okay, <laughs> so now I want you to twist the boat, right? To twist it. So we're going to twist the, twist the joystick there. All right. And now that's going to put one engine forward and one engine in reverse. Look at that. All right. Okay. Just slow this way. And then you go that way. Look at you. I got this. You're a pro. Hey, revert. There you go. <laughs> and now you can also individually control your bow and stern thrusters by hitting those buttons there. So that's the stern thruster. And okay. then you got the bow thruster there too. Uh -huh. There you go. You hear that? Uh -huh. So one more thing. Try pushing down on the joystick. Oh. <laughs> it does the horn. <laughs> That's cool, huh? How cool is that? All right, okay. so just bump it in reverse. There you go. All right. You're a pro. Let's see. You got Spice it. Just a little bit. I mean, look, I see. You were scared about two right, minutes ago, right. and now all of a sudden you're look like, I got this. <laughs> all right, this is cool. Let's see. See that? You could go sideways all the way to the dock here now, pretty much. And see that's that? what we're doing. All right, now leg over a little bit. Now, there okay. you go, twist it a little bit. There you go, uh -huh. perfect. Okay. I mean, this is unbelievable. People ask about a learning curve for the product. I have never done this before, full okay. disclosure. Like, like literally, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, this is it. Like this. the learning curve is, is non-existent with this product, okay? There you go. Now tap it in reverse a little bit. There you go, good. So now twist it. To the right? Yep. There you go. And now go sideways to the dock. 
Look at this. I mean, look at this. Wow. There you go. Here we are. I mean, hit the stir and thruster just a little bit. No, the other one. There you go. I mean, and now the bow thruster a little bit. I mean, that's it. I mean, look at you. We could just jump off and right I now docked the boat. and grab a line. <laughs> All and that's right. it. So that's, I mean, you docked the boat. I docked the boat. Uh, you saw high, it here, folks. That's a high five. I mean, she docked <laughs> the boat. Never used a dock mate before in her life. And that was it. She just docked the boat. In less than what? Three minutes? I mean, that's it. So that's it. You're, you're going on all the tutorials now. All right. <laughs> you saw it first here, folks. Heather docks the boat for the first time with the dock mate. That's it. I <laughs> so I it. can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> See? Look at the smile. This is why this product is so good. I'm telling you because it makes people smile and it makes my job easy because everybody that uses the product smiles. Yeah. It's, we give everybody a better boating experience and that's what we love to see people yeah. smiling this this is fun this was this is really cool thank you mark i i'm surprised you trusted me with this but now that i see how easy it is i know well, why thanks you to my me. friend for letting me use the boat and <laughs> yeah. trusting you now he's going to see the video of you docking the boat he's going to be like, wait that's not what you told me was happening so. all right so heather now that you've officially graduated from dock mate docking 101 <laughs> We have a shirt for you, okay? It's a nice sun shirt. Awesome, thank okay? you. Okay, but it also... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I hope I didn't say anything too crazy. No, you were we good. You don't have to do any bleeps. But when you get a boat, <laughs> hopefully you won't say that. And awesome. now you have a dock made shirt. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Mark. This has been incredibly fun, very informative, live demonstration for our viewers. Yes. So thank you again. You're welcome. You did great. Thank so. you. And we'll see you right back after this commercial break. Yacht Engineering Week 2021 has been made possible by Pantropic Power, the only authorized Caterpillar Power Systems dealer in South Florida. Florida Nautical Surveyors, your complete solution to all of your vessel surveying needs. And Robert Allen Law, exclusively dealing with the business of yachting. We would also like to thank Quantum Stabilizers, AME Solutions, D'Angelo Exhaust, MPI Marine Professionals Incorporated, Concord Marine Electronics, Lauderdale Marine Center, Marine Data, Isotropic, Dockmate, and Murray Ventilation Products. Thank you for joining us this year. We'll see you in 2022.